Hey folks, I'm kind of excited right now because this is a little extra footage. I had to drive to a location to find something. Guess what it is? It's the Cicada, the Brood 10. I've been wanting to see these guys for a while. They've been out, uh, out of the ground ready for a couple of weeks, but they only live for about a month. So I'm basically halfway through their lifetime of being an adult while flying around, finding mates. I already saw a couple of cicadas flying. So I wanted to share this uh, experience with you of seeing the Brood 10 cicada because they only come out of the ground every 17 years. I mean, when you think of it, what were you doing 17 years ago? Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> and then it'll be another 17 years before the next uh, generation of the brood comes out. So come with me. I'm going to try to do some uh, canoe fishing also since I'm here. It's a different location for me, something new, and see if we can catch some fish. But right now, let's see if we can get some close-up of some cicadas. So they come out of a hole in the ground that size. Anybody home? I see him. The first one up close. They're so small compared to the annual cicada. They're, they're cute. What do you think? I'd say I found a mother load of them. They're on this tree. Hold one. Oh, no. I just had to see these guys up close. Got a couple of them right here. But they have a beautiful orange color. And those red eyes. Oh, one just flew away. This one wants to hang out with me. Oh, here's another. They're flying everywhere here. They're just one and three-fourth of an inch. This is the base of a maple tree and it serves as a nursery and a graveyard. It's a new lake for me. I don't have my hummingbird with me today, so I don't know the depth. There's a lot of this stuff near the weeds. It's like black cotton candy. There we go. There we go. This one feels pretty good. The Berkeley and the crawlers are working. Oh. I love the purples in these guys. Turtle alert. It's a tiny turtle. Did you eat some cicadas today? I bet you did. Oh, sign it. I didn't know if it was on it or not. I took a chance. <laughs> this time I used the pinch crawler. Bluegill. There are beautiful bluegill here in this lake. I used half of a pinch crawler. Smaller also. Ooh. In the face. Better let these guys go now. It's getting a little, a little warm. The clouds are starting to break. Switch to a worm, and I got something pretty strong here. Oh! Oh! Monster bluegill! It's 
time for something a little different, but I'll take a bluegill that size. Oh, look at that. Lovely creature. You are my guest. Big enough for me to put my thumb in. Seven inches. It put up such a good fight. Bigger piece of pinched crawler. Lighting already. Oh yeah. Bluegill action. Today is the day of the bluegill and the cicadas. Mm. Chunky, chunky. just about three inches long. I'm gonna tip the hook with uh, one of these. Oh, it's a cicada, look. And a fish might go for it. It's a poor cicada, just landed in the water. Looks like it's sending out a sonar. Maybe it's telling me Save me! I'll try to save you. I saved you. You would have been bass bait. Okay, I saved you. It doesn't mean you can crawl all over me now. God, you tickle. Let's see if I can catch fish that way with a yum. Curly tail, three inch artificial bait. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, it's loose. It hit the temperature. Oh, God! That was a bass again. Oh, please, be a bass. Be a bass. Yes. I'm not going to let you go. Oh, God! It's a chain pickerel. <laughs> I am using such a small hook. It's gonna fall off. I know it. Chain pickerel. Uh, can I get it in? Wow. <laughs> uh, I have a net. Okay, the prize of today. Oh yeah, I got it folks. I got a nice chain pickle. <laughs> they have teeth. I was almost gonna go like, then my finger would have would have popped off. <sighs> Slimy. 18 inches. Pretty nice for a chain pickle. All the sliminess. Pretty. Okay. Very toothy. I ever caught 
the chain clipper on a drop shot. Awesome. There's another one. They're dropping like flies, so to speak. Okay, get on me. There you go. Second chance for spawning. I'm putting these critters on my head because I don't want to step on them. And then when they're dried off, they can fly away. Right? Yes. What is this? Mouth big enough to get on this one? Ooh! See, they really have to open their mouths to get on that three inch curly tail grub. Right there. It is sweet. You can get them on a bigger lure, you just have to be patient. <laughs> This is, I'm not sure what kind of sunfish this is. We'll call it a basic sunfish. Okay, we have pretty diverse third bucket of fish today. Yellow perch, baby crappy. Going to the left, I think. Yeah. Oh. This might be a bass. Finally a bass. The last fish of the day. <laughs> In the chop shot. Two inch white Berkeley curly tail grub. Got it. It's not a biggie, but I was looking for a bass because I knew you guys were hanging out here. Ah. It's a tiny. This was literally going to be my last few casts because it's getting dark soon and I gotta get home <laughs> got a lot of bluegill today tiny crappy a yellow perch pumpkin seed it was a good day and on top of that got a sighting of a cicada or rather hundreds of cicadas flying everywhere Thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate your support. Please subscribe, please like, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom of my page and press that bell button. That'll let you know when my next video will come out. Okay, it was a good fishing day and cicada day. We'll see you next time on my Outdoor and Nature channel. Seventeen years, or at least your kids. <laughs>